there seems to be real drama at anniversary towers, yeah? Offices of the Independent Electoral Boundaries uh, Commission, yeah? Now, I've been getting persistent reports, uh, which I must confess I've been ignoring, because they're just, uh, what can I say, way out, way out. I'm not even sure that most of the people who listen to this channel can be able to handle them, yeah? But here goes. The first report I received, which I just uh, wrote off, was that uh, the late Chris Musando was actually seen at the Anniversary Towers offices. He was cited, not by one person, but by several people. Hey, how is that possible? Now, uh, normally people do not believe in ghosts, yeah? Although statistics uh, may dispel that, because for instance, 40% of uh, Americans believe that ghosts exist. 40%, almost half. Yeah. Now, Kenya, Kenya being the superstitious nation it is, um, that percentage could be higher than 40%. I think you can safely say it is actually higher than 40%. Yeah. Now, according to science, ghosts do not exist. Yes. Um, science also dispels a lot of other things. In fact, some scientists believe in what is called the Big Bang Theory, yeah, which of course dispels any existence of a God, yeah, or of God, the Almighty, yes. They say the world was just created by, you know, the Big Bang Theory, yeah, small explosions, big explosions, and then <laughs> the universes were formed, yeah. So science really is, may not be an authority on this matter, okay, but that's what it is, okay. Anyway, back to our question. Is it really true that the ghost of Monsanto was sighted at uh, the IBC Anniversary Towers offices? Is it? And if this is true, that some people thought they saw a ghost, what could it mean? And what could be the cause? Now, first of all, let us uh, get a few facts correct. Facts, yeah? Uh, if it is true, and I'm not saying it is, if it is true, the late uh, Chris Monsanto's ghost was sighted at Anniversary Towers, it will not be the first time that a ghost uh, sighting has been reported. Indeed, ghost sightings have even been recorded on CCTVs in many parts of the world. Okay? And I have to admit some of these ghost sightings are quite scary. Yeah? Um, in some of the footages, you even see sometimes a motorcycle or, or a vehicle avoiding what is clearly a person standing on the road only for that person to vanish into thin air. Yeah? You know, and the, and the camera, the CCTV is capture all that, yeah? <laughs> Amazing world we live in. Now, even more f uh, fascinating about this uh, sighting of uh, the late Chris Sando <laughs> at the IBC offices is the allegation, or rather the claim, that uh, not all the IBC members or commissioners are able to see this so-called ghost, yeah? It is limited only to a few, actually six extraterrestrial staff. Yeah, that's what uh, the latest information I'm getting is saying. Yeah, and of course, one of those staff uh, members is uh, Ezra Chiloba. Okay, now there have been rumors flying all over the place, but uh, I'm told reliably that uh, many people believe that uh, somehow some commissioners are linked to the disappearance of uh, uh, Chris Musando, yeah? Of course, he was later found uh, murdered, but the, the, there's some people insist there's some link between the disappearance of Musando and uh, some members of the IABC commission. <laughs> this is really crazy. Now, we're going to take a short uh, commercial break. When we come back, I'll be able to tell you something very crazy, yeah, that could, be, could explain all this, yeah? Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Who is Chris Kumekuja? Really, who is Chris Kumekuja? Well, a lot of people have said some very nice things about me. Courageous, daredevil, and so on and so forth. But I'll confess something to you. I'm not braver than you are. I'm not more courageous than you are. I'm just me, and I'm just here. And I believe I'm here because of destiny. All the crazy things I've done, all the very risky things I've done, I've done it all for a better game. A better Kenya and nothing else. I've come face to face with those dark forces I keep on talking about. 
the dark forces, yes, and I've even had them threaten my life, okay? I've just been seated somewhere, told to strip naked, one of them is holding a gun, but that happened a long time ago, let me not go into it, it happened a long time ago during the Moy days. In recent times, I've had very near misses, okay? Crazy, but all for a better Kenya, all for a better Kenya. I'm here to give you a special invitation to join my club 1999, okay? Towards the end of this video, you will get all the details you need to join club 1999 today, so that you can share in the passion I have for our country, in the passion I have for our motherland, yeah? And then even more interestingly, in that video I tell you a bit about myself and why I do the crazy things I do, okay? Make sure you join me in that video. I think you're in for a bit of surprises here and there, if not shocks. Thanks, see you there. Welcome to this second part of this recording. We were trying to unravel a mystery which has baffled many. Yeah, the appearance of a so-called ghost. Okay? Now, there are a few things we know for a fact. Okay? We know for a fact that uh, people who are involved in the murder of uh, others normally uh, are so tormented. Most of them are so tormented that uh, they normally complain of the appearance of ghosts. That's normal. That has happened uh, many times in many places of the world, yeah? If I can just give an example close at home. There used to be a dictator in a neighboring country called Uganda who was called Idi Amin Dada, yeah? Now, during Idi Amin Dada's very bloody dictatorship regime, a lot of innocent Ugandans were killed, okay? Now, it's a very well-documented uh, fact with a lot of eyewitnesses that uh, this dictator had a way of ensuring that these uh, spirits or ghosts of uh, people who he had killed did not torment him, okay? And the way he did this was by feeding on the liver of his victims. <laughs> now, I know that sounds very gory. I know that sounds very bizarre, crazy, yeah? But uh, Idi Amin did actually believe that if you eat the liver of a person uh, you're murdered, the, his ghost will not haunt you, okay? And that's exactly what he did, right? This is even portrayed uh, in the movie Rise and Fall of Idi Amin Dada, which is available online, in case you missed it or in case you're not born when the movie was produced, yeah? Uh, it's very well documented in the movie, where actually a doctor uh, goes into the fridge uh, in his house, in State House, uh, <laughs> in State House Kampala, yeah, and uh, when he opens the fridge, he finds uh, liver, uh, human liver inside the fridge, another human. Uh <laughs> now, apart from trying to add drama to a movie, uh, because this movie was supposed to be based on real life uh, events of the dictator, okay, Idi Amin Dada, yeah. Um, the truth is that uh, this is actually a documented part of his life. And he's not the only one. There are many other stories of other uh, dictators. Uh, there's one called Bokasa somewhere in Central, Af uh, Central Africa and so on and so forth. And the point is it's a documented fact that uh, people get haunted, especially when they're involved in the murder of somebody. Okay? Now I'm not saying the IBC commissioners who, are, who, who claim to have seen the ghost were involved. I'm just documenting what has happened I'm just telling you what has happened in other cases, okay? There is something else also. We all know, uh, everybody saw and heard uh, the widow of uh, the late Msando, Mrs. Msando. Uh, she was very eloquent and she repeated several times that uh, those who were involved in the murder will not have peace, okay? And not only that, at the actual funeral, and I believe this clip is available online, at the actual funeral, um, Sando's mother uh, opened the casket and uh, spoke a few words and she actually did a certain ritual which uh, was to curse and to nab <laughs> those who are responsible for the murder of this very young talent, very unfortunate uh, murder. Okay? Now of course uh, a widow and a mother will have a lot of pain especially when their son and their husband has died in circumstances which are mysterious because to this date we do not know who murdered Msando. In fact, the person who had been charged in court was recently released for lack of evidence, okay? So it's a cold case, yeah? Yeah, so obviously the mother and the wife will be very, very pained 
by the death of their loved one. And to make matters worse, the death of Musando was extremely brutal. Oh, very brutal. In fact, initial reports I got from somebody very close to the late uh, ICT manager was that actually the body was found with the hand missing. Okay? Of course, this was later refuted. Uh, some people really went out of the way to refute this completely and say no, everything was intact. Okay? But the truth of the matter is that this was a very, very brutal murder. And there's something else. It is now very clear that the murder was connected to the elections. Okay? It should be. It's very obvious. It's as clear as day. Okay? Because this man was in charge of ICT. And we know that even in the case which NASA won recently in the Supreme Court, it was all about ICT. Yeah, servers, the system, and you know, and even the, those servers have been very controversial. Okay? In fact, as I record this, there are efforts by NASA lawyers to prosecute uh, some officials within IBC for contempt of court because they did not follow, they did not obey the Supreme Court uh, order to have the servers examined, opened uh, for full examination. Yeah? According to NASA lawyers, there are a lot of hindrances, they were blocked from uh, checking several things on that server. And of course that server was set up, organized and everything by the late Chris Msando. Now in closing, I do not know whether really these ghost settings are real, or whether it's propaganda, or whether it's people, uh, you know, who are being haunted. I have no idea. But this I know. The death of Chris Msando, this is not the last we've heard of it. Okay, after all the drama surrounding it, the fact that this was an innocent person, very determined to give Kenyans a free and fair election, yeah, the fact that innocent blood was poured, you know you can do many crimes, you can steal, you can do what, but as soon as you cross that line and murder, oh, my friend, you're in problems, and even generation, your generation, and to the third, the fourth, in fact forever, yeah, will always carry that curse that goes with pouring human blood. Yeah, these are not chickens we're talking about. These are human beings, and he was murdered very brutally. Okay, but of course I'll keep you updated. We'll see what happens. If there are more ghost sightings, we're going to report them, because I believe it is my work to tell you what is happening, even if it's a very crazy story. Okay, until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha. I trust that you enjoyed that Kumekucha video. I hope it was informative. I hope you learned some things you didn't know. Okay, now uh, as earlier promised. You can be able to view this particular very special video which I made quite some time back, yeah, which talks a lot about me and a lot about Club 1999. Yeah, you will see that red arrow pointing to the link, which when you click will take you directly to that video. See you there in a bit. Thank you.